Hey everybody, it's comedian Jerry Rocha, in desperate need of a shower. I hope you can't smell my pubes the way I can smell my pubes. But we're not here to talk about pubes or hygiene. Today, I want to talk about the game Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. No, 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 I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to geek out over it so much that I might start drooling. Geek out so much that my girlfriend might see this and be like, what have I gotten myself into? Look around me. She knows what she's gotten herself into. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge comes to us from Tribute Games and Dotemu, or Dotemu, or Dot Emu. I don't know how to pronounce this, but they're the excellent people that brought us the newest Streets of Rage 4. So just like how Zamfir is known as the master of the pan flute, but I'm coming for you, you motherfucker. I'm coming for you. These companies might as well be the masters of the beat-em-ups. But, but before we continue, let's reminisce. Just a smidgen. I'm 11 or 12 years old, hanging with my cousin Eric. We're at the movies. There's some girls our age, a couple of rows behind us, who are throwing popcorn and ice cubes at us, giggling while they're doing it. I did what anyone would do. I got very frightened, and I got up to find an employee to ask them to stop, hoping they were going to get a stern talking to or maybe even removed from the premises. It was only until like 30-something years, okay, right now, it was only until right this moment as I'm making this video that I realized, holy shit, they were probably trying to flirt with us. You know, hoping we'd throw some shit back, maybe have a laugh, maybe have a conversation. Eric, I'm... I'm so sorry I just turned into a strict nun on those poor women. And us. I fucked us. I'm sorry. But if those two girls happen to be watching that video, I did you a favor. Trust me, we were not ready for that level of game. Dating us would have been a nightmare. Our second date would have been you two just sitting around as Eric and I called several different Toys R Us's to see if they had any toys in stock and maybe asking you to call a few for us so we knock some more off the list quicker. And then we'd be like, finger condoms? Oh, 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 gee willikers, I just don't know. So anyway, after that movie, and really after every movie that Eric and I would see together, we'd walk right over to the Putt-Putt Golfing Games, which is right by the theater, and then we'd head into the arcade. Let me tell you that feeling of playing miniature golf and then going right to the arcade. There's not enough heroin on the planet that can recapture that high. And boy, the fun was especially waiting for us that day, because when we walk into the arcade, by itself, right there was a brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade cabinet. And for whatever reason, there was no one in the arcade that day. It was like one of those depressing casinos at 2 in the morning, when it's just everyone who's given up, and there may be like one or three people on the slot machines hoping to either cash out or die. It was a miracle that was handed to us. A miracle that we did not take for granted. We poured every quarter, token, whatever into that machine, and we loved it. My love for the Ninja Turtles had actually began a few years before that when my buddy in elementary school, Dave, let me borrow one of his Mirage, Eastman, and Laird Ninja Turtles comics. I was instantly hooked. I didn't really care that they were just kind of making fun of the X-Men and Daredevil. I was just into it. I was like, forget the parody. I just want more of this. The stories were weird. They were funny. They were violent. It was everything I look for in a woman right there in a comic book. And then later on, a cartoon show gets announced, and we didn't care that it was going to be toned down a little bit from the comics. We just wanted all the Ninja Ninja Turtles we could get our hands on. By the way, it's Raphael. That's the pick. That's the only one. I don't want to fucking hear anything else. Raphael's, that's it. Number one. The show, of course, was a giant smash. And then the toy line. My goodness, the toy line they released. Mwah. I would use those turtle figures for everything. They would go on their own Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle adventures. They'd team up with G.I. Joe. Sometimes they would take down my Adat. Sometimes they would team up with Voltron to take down my Boss Hog figure from the Dukes of Hazard. Still one of the bloodiest battles I've ever been a part of. I even used my Ninja Turtles figures when I met with my school counselor to try to figure out why I kept wetting the bed so much. One of the turtles toys would represent me. Master Splinter would represent my mother. We didn't get any answers as to why I wet the bed. We, we still don't have any answers. The Ninja Turtles arcade game was perfect because you got to play out all the shit you played out with the figures right there in a video game cabinet. It combined everything we loved all in one package. Then if that wasn't enough fun, not too long after we get a sequel, Turtles in Time, that they also put out for the Super Nintendo. Shit! Come on! Ecstasy! Now it's present day. Many years have gone by. I'm trying to find meaning. I'm trying to find happiness. I take Viagra, even though I don't think I really need to yet. I'm starting to write poetry about knives. 
And then my man Joshua Snyder digitally gifts me the newest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge game. And boom, there it was. It was like my third time seeing Elvis for the first time. I was 12 all over again. I wanted to make grilled cheese and ramen noodles before I played the game each time. I wanted to call the cops on any woman who flirted with me. I immediately texted my cousin Eric like, bro, you got to get on this. I understood what the people were feeling when they wrote the song Killing Me Softly. I got rid of the Viagra. In fact, I think I've become an even better lover to my partner, my girlfriend. Right, honey? I mean, if you were right, if they were to ask you, hun. I can't recommend this game enough. It throws everything you love about the first games and it puts them all in this and then it adds more stuff and it just keeps getting more and more fun the more you play it. Like the Triceratons, which are some of my favorite characters, definitely one of my favorite action figures, they're in this game. Seeing them instantly filled me with joy. It made me a little regretful that I couldn't spread my mother's ashes on them in the game instead of the pretty place where we did spread them. Getting to play as Casey Jones fulfilled something in me I didn't know existed. There was a void there. I didn't even know what it was. And then when I was able to play as Casey Jones, it filled it. If I ever have a child, my goodness, the charm they're going to have to put on to make me give a shit about them when I can already play as Casey Jones in a video game. There are so many Easter eggs to the original cartoon, and apparently there's more DLC to come. And if anyone who works on the game happens to be watching this video, come on, make the Fugitoid a playable character. I want Yasagi Ojimbo. Make it happen. Panda Khan. Mondo Gecko. Connie from The Godfather. I know she had nothing to do with the Ninja Turtles, but I love this game. And Ario Speedwagon style, I want to keep on loving it. And if you haven't played this one yet, my God, get on this good shit. And yeah, to those two women who threw popcorn and ice cubes at us, I've met the love of my life. Eric met the love of his life. He's happily married. I mean, you probably should have thrown Thundercats figures or G.I. Joes at us. That might have gotten our attention. We might still be together to this day. Now, you have to hope that your loser boyfriend who got you a Let's Go Brandon t-shirt for your birthday doesn't post racial slurs online and lose his job. Throwing popcorn, you fucking amateurs. Thank you for tuning in. Please, if you haven't already, and if you chortled or even guffawed during this, subscribe to my channel, like the video, hit that notification button so every time I post a new video, you're notified. And the more you do that, the less balls I break. Have a great one. Stay safe. I love you all, and see you soon.